Welcome to our channel History of Everything. Today we are continue last part of Australia continent history. First part link in first comment and description. Let's go to on history of Australia continent. The Australia most striking characteristics of the vast country are its global isolation, its low relief and the aridity of much of its surface. If, like the English novelist D.H. Lawrence, visitors from the Northern Hemisphere are at first overwhelmed by the vast uninhabited land and by the so ghostly, with its tall, pale trees and many dead trees, like corpses, they should remember that to Australians the bush that sparsely populated inland are out back beyond the great dividing range of mountains running along the Pacific coast and separating it from the cities in the east is familiar and evokes nostalgia. It still retains some of the mystical quality it had for the first explorers searching for inland seas and great rivers and it remains a symbol of Australia's strength and independence. The Outback poem by A.B. Banjo, Pattison, Waltzing Matilda is the unofficial national anthem of Australia known the world over. Australia's isolation from other continents explains much of the singularity of its plant and animal life. Its unique flora and fauna include hundreds of kinds of eucalyptus trees and the only egg-laying mammals on earth, the platypus and echidna. Other plants and animals associated with Australia are various acacias, Acacia pusnantha, golden wattle, is the national flower, and dingoes, kangaroos, koalas, and kookaburras. The Great Barrier Reef off the east coast of Queensland is the greatest mass of coral in the world and one of the world's foremost tourist attractions. The country's low relief results from the long and extensive erosive action of the forces of wind, rain, and the heat of the sun during the great periods of geologic time when the continental mass was elevated well above sea level. Isolation is also a pronounced characteristic of much of the social landscape beyond the large coastal cities. But an equally significant feature of modern Australian society is the representation of a broad spectrum of cultures drawn from many lands, a development stemming from immigration that is transforming the strong Anglo-Celtic orientation of Australian culture. Assimilation, of course, is seldom a quick and easy process, and minority rights, multiculturalism, and race-related issues have played a large part in contemporary Australian politics. In the late 1990s these issues sparked a conservative backlash. Australia has a federal form of government, with a national government for the Commonwealth of Australia and individual state governments those of New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, South Australia, Western Australia, and Tasmania. Each state has a constitution, and its government exercises a limited degree of sovereignty. There are also two internal territories, Northern Territory, established as a self-governing territory in 1978, and the Australian Capital Territory, including the city of Canberra, which attained self-governing status in 1988. The federal authorities govern the external territories of Norfolk Island, the Cocos Keeling Islands, Christmas Island, Ashmore and Cartier Islands, the Coral Sea Islands, and Heard Island and McDonald Islands and claim the Australian Antarctic Territory, an area larger than Australia itself. Papua New Guinea, formerly an Australian external territory, gained its independence in 1975. Historically part of the British Empire and now a member of the Commonwealth, Australia is a relatively prosperous independent country. Australians are in many respects fortunate in that they do not share their continent, which is only a little smaller than the United States with any other country. Extremely remote from their traditional allies and trading partners, it is some 12,000 miles 19,000 kilometers from Australia to Great Britain via the Indian Ocean and the Suez Canal and about 7,000 miles 11,000 kilometers across the Pacific Ocean to the west coast of the United States. Australians have become more interested in the proximity of huge potential markets in Asia and in the highly competitive industrialized economies of China, Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan. Australia, the continent and the country, may have been quite isolated at the beginning of the 20th century, but it entered the 21st century a culturally diverse land brimming with confidence, an attitude encouraged by the worldwide fascination with the land, down under, and demonstrated when Sydney hosted the 2000 Olympic Games. Thanks for your support. See you at next video.